Now, let's take a look together how you can delete WhatsApp call history on your iPhone. It's pretty simple to do, but there are more ways to do it depending on your exact goal or aim in terms of what you want to achieve. So let's begin with it right now. The very first thing is really simple, and it works the exact same way as on the iPhone's phone app. So you open up the WhatsApp application, and at the bottom, in the tab bar, you can see a couple of things. So click the phone icon to go to your calls section. There is a list of all the recent phone calls you have made, and now swipe left on the individual call, and from the right, the red button that says delete will show up. So here, either click the button or you can keep on dragging all the way to the other side and release it to delete the entry or this specific phone call record. But in order to have more control over it or perhaps even clear multiple calls at once, you need to click on the edit button in the upper left corner. This will make everything move slightly to the right, revealing the red minus icon. So this is basically just a different way to remove the entries. However, there's also the clear button in the other corner at the top, so you can click it as well, and everything should get deleted now. So this is by far the best or the most convenient way to go about it. If you really wanted to go to the extreme level and delete every single thing, Let's say regarding certain person or conversation, you can do some other things. In this case, you can go to the settings of the WhatsApp app. It's again in the lower tab bar, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, click on the settings, and there you can click on storage and data. This is a very interesting section. Part of it is, for example, the network usage. There you can see and browse through some statistics regarding your WhatsApp activity. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there is a reset button, so you not only deleted the recent phone call history, but also these statistics that would also reveal some information about your phone calls. Or when you come back to the storage and data section, you can also look at the manage storage. There you can browse through all the media, apps, and other items that are stored in your chats. This will make it simpler for you to see the information about conversations with other people. And lastly, if you don't want to leave a single trace behind you, although it's pretty extreme, you can still delete your entire WhatsApp account. So still in the settings tab, you can view the account section and there's the delete my account button. When you click it, you have to type in your entire phone number to make sure you know what you're doing. And it also lets you know what deleting will cause just so you know what you're doing. But if you're sure, you can proceed and delete your entire history on WhatsApp. So this would be about it. For more videos and tutorials like this one, make sure to stay tuned by subscribing to Foxtech, and if you want to, you can check out this next video right here. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you guys later.